hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, perform uh, IDA or incremental dynamic analysis in Sysmo structure software. Uh, incremental dynamic analysis is also a sort of uh, time history analysis, but a little different. So one difference is uh, the incremental time. Uh, when we have a time history analysis, just we use that increment time of the given period. But in this case, we can use uh, to scale that that time is uh, the time histories. And uh, mostly we use for earthquake uh, other devaluation of the structure. Um, here is an article you can find it which is written by Dimitriouf, Dimitrius and it's very uh, useful with a lot of information and also giving ex uh, some examples some uh, comparison between pushover and IDA, uh, IDA curve and also uh, here is another one the uh, uh, introductory issue with uh, time uh, spectral oscillation uh, so after you read, you will completely understand uh, what IDA, IDA is. So now uh, we want to perform this analysis in uh, ID, in Sysmo structure. So uh, I can uh, use a, a wizard to create a structure. So the structure wants to uh, pay uh, and to pay, and I want two story and. Uh, three frame so that equal three by three now uh, I want the uh, length of the bay should be six meters and also the length of the frame should be six meter if I want five that's at least five is meter so three point uh, three point four four right uh, in this uh, example just I want to use steel structural and the analysis type I want to use I incremental dynamic analysis. Now I can say OK. Here is the IDA scaling factor. So this is what it gives us. It gives us to start uh, from starting to to uh, end. Uh, we also can start and ending should be uh, one times scaling means we increase the time increment from from the existing in case it's 0 0.1 and we will times this to 1 and so now it's let's suppose uh, we have 0 0.1 uh, uh, J uh, ground motion then we will times this and then it's become uh, one times so it's a linear we're going to be starting 0 0.1 then increasing to 1 and this should consider three steps so one step two steps three steps and uh, after you got the result and the output you will see what this three means and this one one means and this one so it's a linear we're starting from b 0 0.1 to 1 scale and then uh, giving uh, three times and also you can uh, create more disconnect to so one two three you can more disconnect scaling also you can provide and it's okay and now it required to give us a time uh, uh, history record uh, we use the loom operator and uh, this is the parameter it's automatically taking from the uh, available text file and this you choose time and acceleration value per line and the second should be acceleration the second uh, the first one should be time and I'm going to say it okay and we can see the time history card now we can go to okay and uh, all element uh, is created based on the giving uh, based on the giving properties now uh, we can uh, go to check what we have in this structure the first is material we have a bilinear bl bilinear uh, steel material in case if you want to change you can go to use another one uh, unless we want to use 
uh, multi loop uh, state material, this one. And uh, in the section, so we can go to here and it's called the section name. And this is the section, and I can go to see what section is. This is the material, and this is the section characteristics. This is the section given in uh, in this. Uh, uh, we can uh, select other kind of uh, section. Even uh, we can go to use. Uh, just it from steel we can use uh, build up box or an, another kind of section. So, but this is a, a symmetric I uh, section. And uh, the section called seats, and the section name is section, and material is this one, and the section dimension is this one. Uh, so we uh, typically accepted this in case if you want to change, and you can go to add a new section, or uh, ask uh, from the available profile. Uh, so next, the element class. Which element class is used for say, this section? Uh, Force-based plastic inch element, which as a fiber section is 100, and the plastic inch length is about 60.5 percent. You can change this, and also if, in case if you want to consider some damping, you also can allow. And next is so the node. This element connectivities. And this is a constraint. Uh, uh, we have two rigid uh, diaphragm for each floor and a restraint. So this uh, bottom node 1 to node 0, 1, 11 is here. All this restraint in, in uh, uh, all direction. And here is the time history curve which we uh, defined using room operator data and in case if I go to view and you can see here uh, if you want to load multiple you can also create another one or load another one in the same time you can apply XYZ now another load uh, this is the incremental time which we have applied acceleration and this is the permanent life uh, date load uh, which we apply on the beam uh, now we want to consider the uh, code to check and also we can see that on, on the um, safety factor available safety factor here and now we can see the performance uh, the, we have two uh, performance. One is yield based on this code. One is yield. One is fracture. So yield means the structure will uh, stay on the uh, okay, uh, living uh, stage or uh, safety life, and the fracture is so that the structure will collapse. Now the analysis output. Uh, sometimes you need to create all this data. Sometimes you don't need. You can check which uh, data one but so I will consider to all this data in case you can add stress strain of some columns some beams you want and also you can add some other extra output uh, we will take this sample and also the last we can check the idea IDA parameters again we in beginning we see this one and that uh, in the uh, output parts just we can uh, lead the program to calculate the uh, relative displacement uh, dynamic pushover points so the first point is taking the bottom point and the last this point is the top storage point so then they will uh, divide the, the deformation by height and taking ratio uh, so it will calculate based on and now uh, the pre-processing is finished during the processing and we want to uh, perform the analysis and here we uh, just uh, uh, say uh, 
here is uh, see only uh, essential information I'm going to run it's going to save it uh, I can go to called IDA IDA analysis and I'll save and it will start to run and now I want to plot the real time uh, here is so this is the first step it will have three step after this finished it will start again in uh, using the sickle the second uh, scale factor here is 0 0.1 sickle, uh, factor and then it will mm, reach to that uh, one so, um, we can each uh, step uh, this is from 0 to 10 has which is totally 9 uh, step divided by 3 stage which we giving a scale factor of 0 0.3 uh, now uh, this is the uh, response in the first uh, 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 scaling factor 0 0.1 and uh, you can uh, do time history analysis and then you can compare the result uh, with IDA and so it's quite different so now we can uh, wait uh, until the next skill factories begin and now the first uh, skill factory is finished and the second uh, it's selected 0 0.4 uh, we have uh, three steps so one step is already finished and the second step is uh, 14 and the last one will be 0 0.1 so now it's all begin uh, it will have a large displacement as well now we can see here uh, it's begin larger 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 in the uh, which is 0.5 percent more than than the previous one uh, now the analysis completed and we got uh, about 30 uh, 23 minutes to finish now I'm gonna give you some uh, uh, in interpretation so the first is uh, this one which is 0 0.1 uh, which is got 0 0.1 that uh, is scaled and then again 0 0.7 and 1 in the first one we have this displacement in the second we have this area displacement and the last one we have this one uh, this structure with this earthquake give after uh, which we scale it by one uh, it give a maximum displacement in this uh, in this period of time if we go to back to see the uh, the time histories so this area is the maximum uh, ground motion now we can go to the post processing and see some more uh, now in the uh, post processing we can uh, see the deformation shift view in each incremental time uh, here is the analysis uh, which we created four steps so from 0 to 1 1 4 and 7 and 1 uh, now we want to see the in the maximum 4 1 4 uh, let's see And uh, in the uh, number four, and also which uh, cause skill one, and we can see the structure response or deformation. Even we can extend the uh, deformation in x, y, and it's giving a value. And we can want to just shoot the, the uh, deformation instead of giving value. Now we can go to back to here, uh, call the action effects. Uh, diagrams and also global response parameters now we can uh, ask uh, this is the top uh, node and we want relative displacement should give in the top and also we want show the maximum displacement in the curve so it created uh, which is uh, in this point point zero point five second and it's about zero point three four millimeter 3.4 millimeter so very least and we also can uh, get 
listen the second story we have plotted two and also I can go to back two. so this also and we can see the uh, acceleration and velocity and considering the maximum this is it uh, here is the 12 meter per square second and also we can check another uh, so after you uh, understand this uh, uh, procedure to conduct an idea analysis then you can get this data out and do a analysis so now you also can see the value and its copy as well you can get this uh, this uh, uh, graph by uh, here you can copy plot and you will save it the plot in any directory you want and uh, one thing uh, that the structure don't have so much because the structure is two story uh, this is two story steel structure quite uh, it is resisting uh, in this earthquake uh, so uh, based on this analysis which we got so the structure is stable uh, so in other case you can extend the stories and then you perform another analysis and choose another uh, time earthquakes so then you can uh, see what exactly uh, the structure response and also we created the performance uh, create your check and now we uh, can check uh, here is we can select uh, which element is uh, reached the yield and uh, we can see during this earthquake this is the time this is the limit actually uh, should 0 0.2 uh, or 2.5 percent and now we can go to uh, check from the first 0 0.5 uh, to end of the result so here is no not reach to the yield so that means the structure is stable uh, and also you can select another times list that 5.1 second 5.1 second um, here and in this 5.1 second which is the maximum displacement so it's not reached none of the column beams uh, and also you can see the stress strain output the stress strain output you can select section a section b and you can select beam or column leading to refresh and show the maximum as well so now it will show you the maximum strain in each section uh, also we have idea envelope uh, you can uh, see the maximum drift uh, corresponding to shear yeah, and also show the so this is it uh, this point this point this point because we have uh, this is the 0 0.25 which is the limit but none of this uh, uh, time earthquake is reached and this then dynamic pushover and this is uh, the four point yeah one two zero uh, 0 0.1 0 0.4 0 0.5 and one uh, also we have response uh, uh, maxima we you can select uh, uh, the uh, displacement uh, velocity acceleration now I want just using the displacement in this node uh, refresh so here is uh, we have this in each uh, idea envelope so uh, we have this one this 0 0.1 uh, and uh, so x is displacement 0 point so maximum is 0 0.20 centimeters so it's here uh, now uh, this is the end of story if you have any question please put in the comment i will find time to answer you see you next time